Hi girls, it's me again. Okay, I've noticed that some of you girls are battling with the holographic powder and with the chrome powder. So I've prepared uh, four popsticks here. I want to show you four different things. So I've got two in a beautiful blue. It's number 100 from the Planet Nails Gel Polish. It's very pigmented. There's only one layer on. As you can see, it's, it's really got a very good pigment. Then I've got this brownish reddish color. It's number 105, also in the Planet Nails Gel Polish range. Then I've got my UV Glazed ready. I've got my Mirror Chrome Powder from Planet Nails ready. And then the Holographic Powder from Planet Nails. Now, the ombre brush or the ombre sponge is an excellent sponge to apply these powders with. And then I've got a piece of netting here and I'll show you, show you something absolutely marvelous that you can do with this. So first I'm going to do one of these blue. Well, let's start with this red pop sticks, this reddish brown pop stick. So I'm going to apply UV glass onto this. Okay, and then I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds in the Proglow UV lamp. Now, um, as you can see, your mirror powder, I'm going to first use the mirror powder. It's a very fine powder. I'm, I, I made a mistake one day and I dropped this powder in my salon. It was a very expensive drop and it was glitters for days. The cats were glitter balls. My client's feet were glitter balls. So yeah, it's a big mess when you drop one of those. Then you can see it, it's got like a silver shine to it. The holographic powder, you can see it shines different colors. You can see inside the jar how beautiful it shines. So now what I'm going to do, I see my pop sticks been cured. Now I take my sponge, I dip it into the crown powder, and then I rub it on to my pop stick. to get that mirror effect and I take my little duster and I dust off the excess, pa excess powder as you can see it shines beautifully so now I'm gonna reglaze it and if you feel you still need to do some more powder on it you can always do it so I'm gonna cure this now Again for 30 seconds. I'm going to so long prepare this pop stick because I'm going to show you something absolutely magical. You can see this glitter is all over the show. It's a very fine glitter. It, and it, it's just, it stuck where it sits. You can't move it. So I'm going to quickly. <laughs> no, I was stupid now. I was really stupid now. I don't want it to be shiny. We're going to fix that problem now. My daughter is giggling at me. She's our camera. Hmm? <laughs> it's uh, my daughter's the photographer tonight, and she's giggling at me. My beautiful Charlotte, rolling her eyes at me. One of those days, she's gonna have her eyes rolling out of her head. So this one's been cured now. So I'm gonna do another bit. Of the chrome powder over it as you can see the more you put on the more shiny it becomes so rub it really good in and see the effect that you get so I'm dusting it off and I'm gonna reglaze it I usually cap my um, chrome powders with two layers of UV glows. So I'm going to cure it quickly. Then I've got this pop stick prepared now. Now what I want to show you guys, oh no, I, I need to repair my fault I made. I'm quickly going to use the Planet Nails matte top coat because I don't want this nail, nail to be shiny because I'm going to do something different on this pop stick tonight to show you what magic you can do with this. Okay, 
So I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds. Close this before I make an oopsie. Always a good thing when you don't use a product, close the lid on it so that you don't get expensive oopsies in your salon. <coughs> okay, so this one has been cured. I'm just going to recap it quickly. It just prevents it from lifting off the nails. I prefer to do a double coating <coughs> on the the chrome powders. <clears throat> okay, now this one's been completed. So now I'm going to take a thin gel liner brush. This is what I use my metal palette for. It's a very handy thing to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop some of my UV glass onto this. Now this is kind of a quick, quick thing that you need to do. Because we all know that UV glass can run a bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to Do like a if I can get my brush loaded. Just gonna do a silly little rose here. Just gonna show you got girls something. Quickly pop that into the lab for 30 seconds. Okay, this one is finished now, and you can see it's got a beautiful, shiny finish to it. A beautiful, shiny finish to it. Okay, now on this one, I'm going to show you something magical. Absolutely, I always say that when you think of it, try it. If, if you think you're going to have a fantabulous idea, try it. If it's not fantabulous, then you know it's not going to work. But if you think it's going to look fantabulous, then you absolutely do it. So I'm going to prepare one popstick. One popstick, I'm going to show you that um, the, um, the holographic powder you can all, also rub onto the um, UV glass. I prefer it that way. I feel just it's more shiny and it gives me more that effect that I want. So I'm going to quickly just put some UV glass over it. Into the lamp. To the other one. Okay, so now we've cured that. Now you'll see the reason why I've matte the background. So once again the chrome powder and I rub it over the rose. Now it won't stick to the matte surface, but it will stick onto the shiny surface of the UV glaze. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Once again, just cap it twice with your UV glaze. That's all you do. Easy as pie. So I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. 
are other popsticks ready? Now I'm going to show you. I'm going to use the other side of the sponge for the um, holographic powder. As you can see, it's all just glitter floating around now. Okay, now I've got my holographic powder. I also had a very expensive oops with this. I think my husband had a heart attack when he heard how expensive this oops was. So now I rub it into my color. And you can see it has that rainbow effect. I just love holographic powder. This I also cap twice with my UV glaze. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. So let's cure that. Okay, so look at that. It's beautiful, simple, easy, and it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. So if you don't have embossing foil or embossing gel, and you want to do something that's embossed. This with the, the crayon powder, UV glass, draw your pattern, cure it, rub your powder on it, perfect. But remember girls, your background must be a matte background. If you do acrylics, after you finish off, before you start doing your top coats, leave it as is. Draw your pattern on, Cure it for 30 seconds in your LED lamp, or if you've got an old UV lamp, uh, two minutes. And then you take your crumb powder and your sponge and rub it over, dust it with your duster, and this, and then you cure it, and this is what you end up with. Isn't that stunning? This is things that I just thought out for myself. And I thought, how, let me try it, maybe it will work. And this is what I ended up with. Okay. Now the other one has been cured. Look at it. I'm just going to recap it. And then I'm going to show you something that I thought one night. I'm going to show you what I did that night. And it worked out perfect for me. So I just quickly want to wipe this one too. And now I'm going to quickly cap it. I love this blue. It's a beautiful blue. Pop that into the lab. Now, one night I was feeling a bit bored and I'm at the title Game of Thrones Freak. I'm an absolute Game of Thrones Freak. And everyone's doing dragons and dragon eyes and things. And I thought to myself, well, I'm going to have a bit of a play. And then I thought to myself, I need something to look like dragon skin. It needs to look like dragon skin. I mean, dragon skin scaly. So, I thought about something. And the thought that I thought about something, just want to make sure that finished, was a piece of knitting. Just knitting. You can go to your trousers or pedestrian shop, material shop, and you can go and buy a piece of knitting. It must be quite soft and pliable. You'll see now what I do with this. Now you can take art paint too, and you can do like an airbrush effect with art paint on top of a nail with this. This thing, if you've got one of these tools, You've got endless possibilities of things that you can do with this tool. So, my pop stick's been cured. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this netting around it. I'm going to do that. Okay. Then I'm going to take this powder. And I'm going to bump it onto, don't rub it, bump it on. And then you remove it. And then you take your sponge and slightly, ever so slightly, brush it off. 
Look at that marvelous pattern that you've got. It looks like snake skin in the sun. So once again, cap it twice. See, it, it's just stunning, stunning. I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. And I'm going to recap it. I always believe when you work with these kinds of powders, cap it twice. When you do embossing with uh, transfer foils, with your embossing foils and your embossing gels, cap it twice that your transfer foil doesn't wear off. Always cap twice. Okay, so let's cap this one for another turn. Thirty seconds again. So, with UV glaze and these magical powders, you can have so much fun. You can have beautiful dragon skin. You can have a beautiful flower, a beautiful pattern that you draw. You have to be quick, but you can do a beautiful pattern. You can even do lines across. You can do so many things when you've got UV glaze and chrome powder. There's a mirror nail. Beautiful chrome mirror nail. Just look at it. Then, look at that unicorn powder, farting powder. I call it my fart powder. It looks beautiful. It, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. And then look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. There is so many things that you can do with things that you've got in your salon. Stupid things, silly things. Try it. If you think of it, try it. I say to the girls, get yourself pop sticks. Ply on them. If you can just see the amount of things that I've done on my pop sticks. It's so full, I need to get a new ring. This is my play time after hours where I sit and dream of things and I try them. I go on Pinterest, I practice them and I see, gee whiskers, look at this, try this. I mean, Miss Baywatch was born out of boredom one night. Night that the opera was born out of boredom. Um, there's my cartoons, there's my, my city feature. There's so many things that you can do. I actually painted this off a photo. If you let your mind go and, and get over the mindset of I can't do things, look at those things. I'm actually doing a wedding set in December with this nails. There's Coco Chanel, my bottle of perfume. If you allow your mind to be open to different things, there was what I've done with the netting with this netting and paint, art paint, I did that. There's done, I did this with the iconic. I thought, well, I want to see if I can make a flower out of iconic. If you just let your mind go, start with something simple, stripes and lines, you can do it. My mom used to tell me, there's nothing like Connie. You can do a thing. Connie has long gone died of boredom. Look at that. So girls, let your minds go. Open up your hearts and let the art flow from your heart. That's all from me tonight. I hope you find this informative. Until we see you again. Cheerios.